Do you guys even watch me for crafty tutorials? Or just watch me descend into card making insanity? Hi, it's me JD and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be focusing on pop-up cards. Now I've done uh, videos on pop-up cards in the past. Well, I, just the one video. But now I'm showing you even more ways to do pop-up cards. Before moving on, be sure to hit the subscribe button below, as well as the notification bell. The first pop-up card that we will be doing is an accordion pop-up. So you're going to start off with an 8.5 by 5.5 piece of cardstock that's been scored right down the middle. And then you're going to take another piece of paper and just fold it accordion style. It really doesn't matter the length of the paper. Um, just know that you have to be able to fold it in half eventually. So you're just going to make folds back and forth like an accordion until you reach the end. And once you reach the end, you're going to fold it in half, as I said, and it's going to form this really cool fan-like pop-up mechanism. To hold the inner sides of the fan together, you'll need some adhesive or some tape. And then you're going to need something to hold it down while it dries, um, like this big giant binder clip. I don't know where I got that from, but it came in handy. Next, I'll stamp my sentiment on the front of the card while my little fan dries. One important note for your fan piece, the lighter weight the paper, the better, just so it's not so bulky when you close your card. I'll get out my little stamped and colored elements for the inside of the card, which are little duckies and they're so cute. I also stamped out my sentiment for the inside of the card as well. I'm going to put some double-sided tape on the back of my fan element. Then I'll peel off the backing of both sides. And here's where I'll match up the score line of my fan element as well as the score line of my note card. I'll attach my duckies with some glue. My plan is to make the accordion fan a little umbrella for my duckies. But what's an umbrella without a cane? Cane? Umbrella cane? Right? Umbrella? Whatever. This, I'm using the tiniest pen to draw my umbrella cane. Hold on. Copic. Now to really step this up a notch, I'm going to add some um, dew drops along the top to make it really seem like rain. I'll set this aside to dry and this card is pretty much finished. Next up, we will be making a birthday cake pop-up. For this next pop-up card, you're going to need a tea ruler, a pencil, and some cardstock. I've got an eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock that I scored right down the middle. On the score line, I'm going to use a pencil and a ruler to mark down where I want my birthday cake. So I'm going to mark an inch from the right and an inch from the left, and my cake tier will be an inch high. So I'm going from the left and right uh, points and then I'll draw a line across for my bottom cake tier. And then for my next tier, I will go about half an inch from the left of the bottom tier and a half an inch from the right from the bottom tier. Draw up my uh, vertical line, which will be an inch tall, just like the bottom tier. And then draw a line across to complete the cake tier. I will repeat the process for the top tier, going half an inch from the previous tier as well as an inch high for the height of the cake tier. Don't worry about all of these pencil marks we're making because this element will actually be on the inside. So now um, I'm going to cut out the pop-up cake. And to do this, I'm cutting along the score lines. I'm just cutting the vertical lines of the cake only. Again, this is along the folded edge of the card. Now I'm going to push this bottom tier back so it forms a step. And then I'm gonna fold down the front of the pop-up element. And then I will take the front part and fold it back once more. I know it's confusing, so I'm just gonna show you this one more time. Make the cuts, push it back, okay. Fold the crease line and then push the front part back again. So now on the inside, you have a step. To do the next layer, you're going to cut along the new score line that you've made. You're going to cut the vertical lines left and right. And same as before, we're going to push that back so it forms another step. And then fold the top flap back. And you can see our pop-up cake starting to form. 
last tier, so I'll cut along the vertical lines of the left and right, push that part back, push the top tier back, and then fold the front flap back again. And now, once you open it, after you score all the lines, of course, you're gonna open it and it's going to reveal a three tier pop-up cake. This pop-up element is actually gonna go on the inside of my note card, so I'm just trimming down all four sides to make sure that it fits in the note card nicely just like so, and it will all fold flat. Now it's time to decorate my cake and the inside of the card. I'm going to stamp my sentiment using my Misty stamping tool. Ay! God, one of these days, these magnets are gonna take off a chunk of my finger, and then I will have to explain to the ER doctor what happened. Oh, doctor, I was making cards and my crafty tools amputated me. <laughs> Next, I will use a pen just to draw the lines for my banner to form. Then using my markers, I'm just going to color in the rest of my cake really quickly. After that, I'll use my tape runner and apply adhesive to the back of my pop-up element, but not on any part of the cake or the, um, the slits that I made. And then I'll match the score line down my pop-up element to the score line of my note card. I'll fold it shut and then I'll add my sentiment to the front side of my card. For pop-up cards, I like to keep the front of my card really simple so the pop-up element stands out even more. This next pop-up card idea features a fun, cute little critter on the inside of your handmade greeting card. I've got this fun die element which you can make either a bunny or a kitty. So I'm going to make a kitty. It cuts out a head, front paws, a body, tails, and a butt. It also has these little die pieces for like the ears and eyes, but um, a girl doesn't have time for that. <laughs> so I'm just going to get out my markers and color those in really quick. There are score lines on the kitty's back paws, so I'm using the, the booty first. I'm going to put some glue on the back of his butt and then adhere it to the top part of my card panel. And then I will attach his head to his front paws. Next, I'm going to attach his body to his hiney with some double-sided adhesive. It's probably best to use adhesive so you don't have to wait for your glue to dry. Once you've got that on there, then you'll attach adhesive to the front part of the body. And then I'll use some more glue to just attach his paws to the bottom flap of my card. However, once I go to close the card, Hmm. Well, I did not think this all the way through. Kitty's face is hanging out of my card. I think this happened in my first video too. All right, no problem. I'm just going to decapitate Kitty and put his head a little further down. And Kitty will fold. Ha! Fixed it. Nailed the problem. Wait, no. Nailed it. Fix the problem. Next, I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which in hindsight, I should have done first. No! Gosh darn it. What the heck? All right. Whew. Crisis averted. I will then stamp my sentiment on the front of the card using my stamping tool. And there is my card. Ah, that I just smudged. Golly! Okay, well, I'm gonna add some sequins to that and then this card is done. <laughs> the next pop-up card features this awesome pop-up peony die. The manufacturer suggests to use lightweight paper for the pop-up peony, so I'm just using some printer paper and I'm zhuzhing it up with some Distress Oxide inks. Once I've got all of my pieces, it's time to start assembling them. So what you want to do is create a peony ring, and there's this little tab that comes attached to each ring, and use some glue to attach that, and then you're going to fold along each of the score lines of the peony ring. 
And then once you've got that, you're going to find the two tabs in the middle and fold those up, fold those towards you, towards the inside of the of the peony and then attach some glue to that and then those tabs are going to run parallel alongside the uh, score line of your note card. Remember you're only sticking the tabs down not the entire peony ring. Then it's time to move on to the next largest ring and you're going to repeat the process. You're going to glue the tabs together, fold along the score lines, fold up the inner tabs and attach some glue to them and then attach the entire peony ring to your note card using the same technique as before, using the tabs to run parallel alongside the middle score line of your note card. Once again, it's just the left and the right tab that go on either side of the score line uh, and it attaches to your note card. None of the petals should be adhered to your note card. It gets trickier as the peony rings get smaller, but it's still doable. This die set also comes with extra petals and pieces to help cover up the inside of your peony and also just to decorate. I've got all my peony rings attached, now I'm just testing it out and it works beautifully. Now I will adhere the extra leaves that came with the die set and there's still plenty of space to write a sentiment within this card. I heat emboss a large sentiment on the front of the card and now this card is finished. This next pop-up card features a fun mini box die set from Mon Fon, and it cuts out this really fun uh, mini box plus a bunch of little extras. So now it's time to start assembling all of these pieces together and I have again five and a half, I eight and a half note card that's already scored down the middle. So there's little score lines as well as a tab. And so what I, I have not seen the tutorial on this, but I'll figure it out. Um, I've only done like four pop-up cards before this. <laughs> You're going to fold all of the score lines and these two triangles are going to meet together like this, right? And that forms the bottom of your box. And then there's this little extra tab on the side and that's to um, join your box together like that. So I'm pretty sure the triangle elements is what attaches to your note card and this tab is just to um, bring your box together. I need some score tape. I need to get the really really like skinny uh, score tape. I just, uh, mine's skinny but it's not as skinny. Is that fat shaming my score tape? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm losing my mind. Okay. So the tab is peeled off, now you're going to join the sides of the box together like that. Assuming you put it on the diagonal like this with each triangle running parallel to the score, your note card score line. But how does it close? How does it close, Kelly? You know what I'll do? Uh, i temporarily adhere, adhere it. And then if it's wrong, I can reattach it. Or take it off, I mean. So each triangle run parallel, yeah? Yeah. When did I become German? We become parallel, yeah? Ah, there it goes. Okay. Boom. Got it. Got it. Got him. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, leave it like that. I mean, if you don't remove this kind of tape runner right away, um, it becomes permanent. Closed. Oh. What the hell? Ooh. Guess it needed more adhesive. Take two. Closed. Open. Ah! And then I have this little banner or no, inside element piece. I think goes on the inside of this. Do you guys even watch me for crafty tutorials? Or just watch me descend into card making insanity? Okay, so this one. Ow. Peeled up my skin. Score tape. Okay. This one goes on the right corner. And this one goes on the left corner. And you close it. And you open it. Oh my god! <laughs> there. God, I need wine. Send wine! Closed. Open. There we go. All right, next I'm going to attach my elements to the inside of the box and hopefully that doesn't mess things up. I'm gonna cut into this 
teddy bear's armpits. That is a sentence I never thought I'd say. It's gonna go like this. Okay. Huh? I have to test this like <laughs> every time I add something because I don't want to mess up. <laughs> Yay! Look at that. Oh, look at how cute! Yay! Please close. Yay! Happy birthday. And as I did with all of my other pop-up cards, I'm going to make the outside of the card as boring as possible. I'm going to stamp my sentiments and then test my card just one more time. And that's it! That does it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.